Manon Ferro extended her unbeaten start inside the octagon to six consecutive wins on Saturday when she defeated former strawweight champion Rose Namajunas in the UFC Fight Night 226 co-main event. This was a huge spot for Ferro. Obviously, she's been on the rise in this division and really doing some good things, but fighting a former champion is certainly a huge test. And we didn't know what kind of Rose Namajunas we were going to get in this weight class moving up. She was obviously still dangerous out there and still talented, but Firo mostly had her way with the former champion inside the octagon over the course of three rounds, getting the unanimous decision on all the scorecards. And I think right now she is in a very good spot in what's a very intriguing women's flyweight division. We are less than two weeks out from a title fight rematch between Alexa Grosso and Valentina Shevchenko. Depending how that goes, really is going to lay the foundation, obviously, of which direction the division goes. Uh, if Shevchenko reclaims the belt, what do we do there? Is an immediate trilogy fight on the horizon? Does she kind of resume where she left off as far as her title reign before that big upset and losing the belt to Grosso earlier this year? In which case, that seems like great news for someone like Firo, uh, who is clamoring for a title shot and thinks she's most deserving. But then you have an Aaron Blanchfield out there who also has a great case, 6-0 in the UFC as well. Um, if Grosso retains, I think that opens up a lot of different things as well. Both of those two, whether it's Firo or Blanchfield, are in the running, could get that fight, but maybe they end up fighting each other next to really determine that most clear-cut divisional contender. That's not the direction I would go because you have two title-ready fighters there that are uh, intriguing challengers in their own right. So I think we just have to wait and see what happens in the title fight a few weeks from now, and I think Firo is in a great spot regardless. She is getting a title shot next, or at worst, a title eliminator. So all good things for her and uh, a huge win over Rose Yama Yunus in Paris.